Hello everybody. Today we are going to see about the multimedia and desktop publishing, the first chapter in computer applications. Okay. Chapter 1 Multimedia and Desktop Publishing. This is the chapter we are going to see today. Okay, in this we are going to see two topics today and the two topics are first one is introduction then the second one is components of multimedia. These are the two topics we are going to see today. Okay, first one introduction about multimedia. Uh, Multimedia is made up of two words, multi and media. Multi means, multi means many and media is the plural form of medium. That is many mediums together combined together is called as multimedia okay and this multimedia is being used in almost all sectors and we'll be uh, seeing about that in detail in this chapter okay so before that we'll see so that's the main uh, introduction or brief introduction about multimedia multi means many media means the plural form of media and it is the combination of many more than one media together okay uh, to convey a meaningful message to the users or to the customers. Second one, we will see the components of multimedia. The components of multimedia are components of multimedia are first one is text Second one is images, third one animation, fourth one uh, sound and the fifth one is video. So all these five mediums together is called as multimedia. Okay, so first we'll see about this text. Text as you all know it's nothing but alphabets okay that we type in computer or on phone that is called as text and that text should be meaningful and it should be uh, conveying some meaning to the users and that text is of two types that it is static and hypertext static text means the text which remains the same it cannot change it cannot alter okay so whatever is there in the computer or in the phone you can just read it that's all and get the information that kind of text is called as static text static means which remains the same and the next is hypertext hypertext is nothing but a text which will contain some special words and when you click on that special word it will give you some other information as we see it in the internet when you google for some information you get a page and there will be some blue linked words if you click on that it will go it will show you some other page that kind of text is called as hypertext okay so that is about text the second one is images images means pictures okay that pictures that we see in the computer or in the phone are called as images even that images is of two types and they are bitmap or roster and vector images okay bitmap images are nothing but the images will be made up of tiny dots okay the dots will be placed very close to each other that when you see the picture from a distance it will, you can see only the picture and not the dots okay suppose if uh, you are drawing a box like this okay 
okay actually in bitmap image it will be stored like this small 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 dots to clear uh, to show you clearly i have just uh, drawn with some distance actually it will be very close to each other that you cannot see the dots at all so the bitmap or roster images will be made up of tiny dots all the images will be made up of tiny dots and the dots will have some colors and some sizes depending upon the color of the image so this kind of image is called as bitmap or roster and the tiny dots are called as pixels okay the tiny dots which make up the whole picture is called as pixels okay and the next type of images is vector image and vector image is nothing but in this kind of images the images will be drawn using lines and curves and not using dots normal lines and curves in vector images the images will be drawn using lines and curves this kind of images is called as vector images the next one is animation animation is nothing but a group of images when you run that images uh, continuously then you uh, an animation can be formed suppose consider that i have some images same images and first images a girl is standing here and in the second image girl is standing here okay like this i have some 25 or 30 images uh, a girl standing in different position and if i run this like this if i run like this then okay you will assume you will get an impression that the girl is moving this is called as animation this is called as animation so running a group of still images continuously is called as animation and that animation okay uh, that group of images each image is called as a frame each image in the animation is called as a frame and for a good normal uh, animation you need to have at least 16 frames per second then only the animation will be somewhat okay but you want to have a good animation effect means then you need to have 25 frames per second then the animation will be no good okay so this might you might uh, this might be asked in one mark question what is the now minimum number of frames means you have to answer 16 what is the number of uh, frames for a good animation means 25 frames and even this animation is of two types path animation and frame animation okay path animation and frame animation path animation is nothing but the an animation okay in an animation you will have a background and you have the objects that is the characters no uh, the back the objects only will be moving and not the background okay this kind of animation is called as path animation in path animation the background will remain the same only the uh, objects will be moving for example the olden days cartoon movies you can see only the objects will be moving the background will remain the same that kind of animation is called as path animation in frame animation both the background and the objects will be moving to give a 3d effect or to give a more uh, appealing effect that kind of animation is called as frame animation for example the latest animation movies like star wars or something like that okay so that is called as frame animation the next is sound sound you all know what is the sound everything is a sound but here in multimedia a sound means a meaningful sound which gives some information to the user and even that sound is of two types analog and digital analog and digital okay and this digital sound is nothing but the sound that we store in the computer and uh, uh, phones that is called as digital sounds and uh, instead of analog it is given as MIDI that is musical instrument digital 
identifier or interface you can call it as either way identifier or interface this is nothing but uh, suppose if you connect uh, musical instruments like violin, guitar, piano or anything to a computer, that sound will be recorded in the computer as MIDI. That is musical instrument digital identifier. Okay. And the last one is video. Video you all know. What you are seeing just uh, through this is also a video. And that video is of two types, analog and digital video. Analog videos are nothing but the olden days videos where it is stored in cassettes. The videos will be stored in cassettes. So it will be taking a long time to store and long very uh, big space it needs analog. Digital video are nothing but the videos that we store in the computer and phone. The digital format are called as digital videos. The size will be very less so that it can be transferred to any other system or any other more uh, forms so this is about the multimedia and the components of multimedia that's all for today remaining we'll see in the next class thank you